Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at plotting quadratic graphs. So this is going to be aimed at probably around about grade 5 GCSE and it's just going to be a couple of videos just to give you an idea about how to plot these graphs. Now there's a couple of different types of questions. You might get a question where you've got um, half of the grid there and then you've got to fill in the missing numbers or in this particular case I'm going to give you it where you don't get any values of x or any values of y. Okay, so we're being asked to plot y equals x squared. Well, if we have a look at the grid itself, we've got values of x which are going to go from minus 10 all the way through to positive 10 there. And it's really down to just a little bit of practice to kind of figure out which values of x we're going to use. What I would normally do is I suggest that you start with x equals 0. Now, the reason we do that is because it gives you kind of some sort of anchor point, okay? So when the value of um, x is 0, we've got 0 squared, so therefore the value of y, in this case, will also be 0. So that's great. So if I go to my actual grid, you can see here I've got 0, 0, which is the origin. Okay, now, because I know what y equals x squared looks like, um, what I'm going to do is work fairly carefully and I'm going to have a value of positive 1. OK, well, positive 1 squared is also going to be 1. So that's great. I've got 1, 1. And again, I can plot that onto my grid if I want to. But let's just move it along a little bit. And I'm going to use 2, in which case 2 squared is going to be 4. I'm also going to use 3 and 3 squared will be 9. So that's a really good start for me on the right-hand side, the positive side of my graph. So I can now plot this as 1, 1, 2 and 4, 3 and 9. OK, now hopefully you can see that I don't actually need to go past the value of x equals 3. If I went to the value of x equals 4, it would be a long way up there because it's actually going to be 4 squared is 16. And very typically with these sorts of quadratic graphs, you're going to get that sort of uh, almost exponential sort of result. OK, so let's have a look now at the left hand side of the y axis. So at the moment, I can join all these dots up and I've got half a graph. OK, on the right hand side, I need to look now at the left hand side. So I think it seems to make sense to do minus one. So I'm going to do minus one. And don't forget, minus one squared is the same as saying minus one times minus one. A minus times minus is a positive, so I'm going to get 1. OK, so if I come along to minus 1 here, I'm going to get 1 for my y value. OK, let's have a look now at minus 2. OK, so I've got minus 2. Well, again, minus 2 squared is minus 2 times minus 2, which is going to be positive 4. So I've got 2 and 4. And you can see here it's mirroring along the y-axis. So let's just check that for minus 3. I've got minus 3 squared is minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9. OK, so minus 3 along to 9. OK, there it is. And I've got myself now the coordinates for a nice smooth quadratic graph. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky to draw this actually onto the screen or on the video, but I'll give it my best shot. It's going to look something like that, nice and smooth, a nice kind of turning point at zero, zero. Remember it doesn't go flat. Okay, it's a nice turning point and I'm going to go up to there and on to that. So that would give me now the graph of y equals x squared. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below in the uh, comments if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos within this particular playlist and have a look at some of the other videos within the associated playlists on dealing with quadratics. I uh, hope it's been useful. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.